Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain the option Roll Curve Joint in CATIA V5 DMU Kinematics. So how to use this option? For that, I call two parts so that one part will roll on the other part along the selected path. For that, First, we need to assemble those two parts in a correct position. To assemble in a correct position, I go to assembly design. I call those two parts existing component product for roll curve joint. I select a part, I open a part. This is a part base part on which uh, another part say suppose a wheel should roll along this path then i call that part also existing component product see this one i got the second part I fix this base part so that I can freely move the second part this wheel and I place onto this surface base surface base part surface I roll that in Z direction I rotate this part in Z direction then at the start I fix or I coincide the wheel at the start of the base part. For that, I go to coincidence, select this point and start point. I move in X translation. You can rotate now part, you can rotate this part, X rotation, C. Now I again go to coincidence. I select this point and the end point, see here. Now the wheel is connected at the start. Nothing but roll curve joint. When you apply roll curve joint, it has to roll along this path. And see that this roll surface is tangential to this path. It should be tangential that you need to remember as the point is lying at the base directly I coincide to this point and this circular surface is tangential to this path surface. Then we get into DMU kinematics. One thing. We have already applied fixed component, coincidence and we fixed that we did in assembling. We can keep this, we can keep those constraints or you can delete these three constraints. Sometimes if you keep these constraints and when you apply joints, it shows as a over constraint. It is fixed. You can't move like that. We get warning message. In that case, Definitely right click constraints and delete everything or else you can keep those constraints as it is then we move to roll curve joint simply by applying only roll curve joint simulation won't happen. We need to use the combination of slide curve and roll curve. See I select first slide curve joint. First, we need to create new mechanism. Go for here, fixed part. Select new mechanism. Go for OK. And select base part. Then this base part is fixed in kinematic simulation. 
then select this slide curve joint first curve 1 select this circular edge curve 2 this path the outside path see i just select on that path see the total profile the total edge should be selected or else this wheel will not roll throughout its length then go for ok this is a slide curve joint then turn this side for this edge and this path apply circular sorry roll curve joint select that option select this circular edge curve to then see this path then keep this option on length driven or else you can't simulate then go for ok a pop-up window should appear that giving information that the mechanism can be simulated then go for ok now go to dmu generic animation here we have an option simulation select the mechanism see here under application you can see the joint and mechanism see like this in this mechanism it should mention that no degree of freedom if degree of freedom one or two if it mention you can't simulate and open this you can see the joints slide curve and roll curve two joints and fixed part is this one then this just minimize then go for simulation select mechanism and go for ok now here see move this taskbar see here like this up to end up to end just to move this taskbar you can also change the value here i don't want see by default it calculated and it is showing that 887 point something mm i don't want throughout i want some 500 mm you can you can change here highest value so i keep this as the same value then go for insert then reduce the speed see here this i keep in 0 0.02 then i go for play keep this one value then i go for here play like this it rolls and it slides see along the path both the direction it should then change loop mode click once on this then play see like this if you increase if you want to increase its moment speed then see 0 0.2 i kept running more speed then i reduced to 0 0.01 see it rolls you can see it's rolling on that path like this we need to apply roll curve joint see here then if you select the loop of third option then it rolls on the same way like that see don't go back again from the initial position to the end like this if you keep in second option see like this i slightly increase its speed this is a roll curve joint in katia v5 dmu kinematics thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cat system